Yep, you know what that means. We gotta make a big purchase. Let's get to it. So uh, I'm at the dealership, the only dealership in this whole entire county, really. So uh, we need some serious equipment. We have like zero, nothing, nada, not a thing. So we're going to go in here. The dealership said that we can use their computer. We're going to check out some stuff and see if we can find the perfect vehicle for us. So uh, we mostly have vanilla on this map or on this game so we have the pick of uh one chevy right here and i just think it's too much uh, it's a little bit too big so i decided not to go with that and to i drive a lot of chevys and i need to show some fords some love some fords have some good uh vehicles out there so i think i'm gonna go with I was really contemplating going with uh, basically a squad's truck here. Uh, I was going to go with that. Uh, what? Oh. I think it was this color. That color to me is just go towing. Uh, put some uh, some of them on there. That right there is just impressive. Uh, the tire is just a little bit, just kind of doesn't look like rubber to me almost. Almost looks like plastic. But I just love that uh, that color, basically. The color is just amazing, but mm, just not enough. And actually, if you go to, so that is basically a fully loaded. So if you go to, so I decided to get this because it's actually cheaper. I, I know you see that price down there and you're probably like, oh, no way. That's not that price. So obviously we want proud plep because if you don't know, this is going to snow a lot in this map. There is forecast in the future of possibly getting deep snow. So we definitely need uh, snow plow prep. Man, I can't hardly say that snow plow prep so much ah I was gonna put a grill guard on uh, just because there might be cattle around the area but I decided not of course we need ramps just so we can get a gator maybe one day uh, all right so this is basically plain first thing I always have to do is you got to get them tires on there get some sweet tires I don't really feel the dually in this truck it would be nice oh some bead locks thinking i'm gonna go with these though i'm gonna go with the black just just go with me for a little bit here and of course we got to get our folding uh step sides here we're just gonna keep the plain old bed right like it is Hmm, this is a tough one. Do we want F-250 King Ranch? Hmm, get the nice uh, chrome back in King Ranch. Thinking 350. So I really was contemplating the platinum, but I don't know. That them seats just to me just don't look just right just don't re I'm not really feeling that color think we're gonna go with the F350 King Ranch right like that super duty I do love how uh, Ford imprints their tailgates and all that uh, I think they uh, look so good right there yeah uh, and of course got to put that big moon roof on there and the most important thing I was thinking oh do we need the FX4 trimmer 
Uh, I think I'm gonna make a trimmer truck just because I got the wheels. Why not a trimmer? So if you're gonna go forward, just go all the way. Don't go halfway. Go all the way. I'm gonna not have mud flaps on there. Just not feeling that. Bumper guard, no. gonna put a little toolbox on there just because I'm feeling it a little bit and so now comes the most one of the most important parts hmm uh, that looks all right I think I'm gonna go with just a slight off color just like that I was contemplating, just go with me, this one. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I mean, that looks great, but uh, I think that's a little bit too bright. I don't think Clutch would appreciate me that much. Uh, that looks pretty good, but I kind of like just uh, the slight color of this. Hopefully, uh, Clutch will like this color. I think it looks great, uh, my opinion. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. Did I go with a bad color? So I think I'm gonna purchase this one. All right, there it is. So, oh man, the problem with this, so once you buy on this game, in this server, FSN, you got it. So you can either sell it for uh, one hefty price or you can uh, basically you have it you own it so you don't get no take backs but to be honest I I kind of like it kind of like the black rims I was really contemplating doing this bottom trim right there and all black or gray just so it kind of evens out them black rims but I, I don't know I kind of like it I was really kind of worried uh, had to look around just to make sure they make a two-tone trimmer so either that or we got it specially painted but uh, I kind of like that black trimmer with the black rims and everything was contemplating going blue on blue but I don't know I kind of like this I just kind of like the subtleness so I'm more of the type that I like a uh, subtle clean appearance but uh I don't know you know what I drive an all-white GMC so everyone has their own just my opinion now one of the most important thing we got a truck but that we can't we can't that's not a money maker right there I think this will still make us money because we still have to plow our roads and make sure they're cleared and then everything and uh, we got to haul a lot of stuff so yeah, we need a truck for hauling. So right now, I think a truck would be all right. Now, most important thing, we got to purchase a tractor. Let's go in here and look for some tractors. So in this perfect world, we get to pick our 2011 8R. So this is basically the 2011 8R. So I really thought this was a 30 series at first, but I guess this is the first R series when they had the bubble lights still in, in front, or the bubble appearance at least. So we got to pick between Goodyear, Firestone. I do like the Firestone, but they're just a tad too thin right there if you see. Uh, maybe they, I mean, that's probably realistic, but I don't know it just to me it almost looks like they're too thin uh, we got the Michelin uh, I, I kind of like the tread pattern on them and they do have a lot of detail but you know what this is just too vanilla these are basically vanilla tires I just can't go vanilla we can always go saucy but uh, I don't know now that I have 3D tracks, I really just want 3D tracks on everything. So I, I'm i sticking with uh, Goodyear here. So we're going to go fat or go home. No, just kidding. So uh, 
if we needed to float across the river this would be our pick right here but I think we're gonna go 60 inch all the way around or I think we're gonna go 36 inch all the way around no 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 I'm just joking with you so we are gonna go with uh, 30 inch rows we don't want to We're going to go with a box in front. So they have these boxes. So basically when you're going through the field and you see a rock, you just throw it in your box in front. Or you can put weight in there, I guess. I'm going to keep the fenders off just because I like the looks of it. Trumpets, no. No, thank you. Quick hitch because it's American. And uh, mirrors. So don't you all worry. I know... Uh, we're, I'm going to let Clutch get his uh, European tractors that he likes. I just kind of like this uh, tractor, in my opinion in at least. Put that chrome exhaust on there. Of course, straight pipe chrome. That thing, it's going to purr. Kind of cool, you can actually put a little toolbox on this too. And I was really contemplating this, but I, I just haven't seen that in real life. I don't know if that's real or not, but we're going to keep it off for now. And that is our baby right there. So the dealer just pulled it up. Man. So I kind of really dig in the five headlights, the bug lights. We got lights all the way around this thing. We got the Goodyear's on there. Uh, we got the quick hitch, the blinkers, and of course the chrome p exhaust pipe right there. Best part of this tractor is all the options in here. So you can move that, turn this old girl on. So you can change the screen right there. Move the seat. Turn the windshield wiper on. All that goodness. Open up the door when you want to come in. Put that up. Put your armrest down. Fold them in and out. So many options right here. We got our CB. Let's turn these windshield wipers off. It's getting dark in here. Move this steering wheel out. Of course, shut the door. Best part is you can open up the hood. Look at all that detail in that power tech. So, all that detail in the radiator and stuff. What a great mod this is. Fantastic. Now, the only thing we have to do is we need to get a plow so of course we are limited in our mods here so i was really contemplating it would probably be really smart if i just got one of these uh just three point type of they call this a subsoiler we call it a ripper basically where we're from but it does get under there and it basically lifts up the plane and drops it i don't know though I just really like the the feel of a chisel even though this is an old style here just think this is such a convenient old chisel to use we're gonna go old school a little bit and of course we just I couldn't get the horsepowers to pull one of these uh, we could get a more board plow right here but uh, that would take forever to make some uh, fields with this uh, I think this would be great even though it's kind of a high price but I think that it was still mm, oh man I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all this on this trailer chisel might be a little bit wide let's see All right, we got to shut this hood and hopefully hook up to our chisel. All right, so the, the our new train is started. I know, I know this isn't realistic really, but uh, 
you know how far I need to drive all the way to the north of this map? That is a long drive, so uh, we are going to do it this way. We are just going to have to take it slow and make sure we have all of our beacons on. Ooh, man, it's getting me nervous with this much weight on this truck. we got a long ways to drive all the way up north. Man, this thing is just pulling this like it's not even back there. in here to our new home I know it is dark on here Ooh, we got to take it wide with this big load on here I'm all over the road lucky that tractor made it this far still back there so we are finally back here I know it's the middle of the night all right we got to unhitch this Leave that where it's at. All right, we're gonna, I need to find a really level spot so I can unload this, uh, this tractor here. Think about right there. Wanna get it nice and straight. There we go. That should be good. Look at that, tractor stayed perfectly. I know it's it's dark over here but uh, we need to get these fields plowed we are behind so we are gonna start plowing here kind of wish beans we're gonna start plowing I really should have got the duels put on this might end up putting them on a little later probably just bolt them on so we purchased duels for the side of this I think that might be the but you know what, for the time being, uh, because this chisel really isn't that big, I think we'll probably get by. Ground isn't that wet with just, uh, without the duels on. I really want to get at this before the weather really starts hitting. So I'm going to park my truck and trailer here. Fold this tailgate down. All right, pop this ball here quickly. All right, we are unhitched. Jacks are down. We are good to go. Of course, go park this over here by our house. And we are going to start plowing a field. All right, we are plowing away here. So I think what I plan on doing is making this all into one giant field. I'm going to go all the way around here. So this is going to be around our bin set, around everything here. Uh, we're plowing in the grass, I know, I know, I know, but we need every bit of this land. I know it's getting late, but you know, this is what happens on a server. Kind of have to play when you have 
opportunity and this is realistic too because you don't get that an option to uh, basically turn fast forward in real life to daylight it's gonna kind of be an odd shaped field so plan on hopefully getting this done before it gets too dark out here I know it's getting kind of dark, but we are going to be running late tonight. Going to need some extra coffee. Maybe some energy drinks. I got cup holders over here ready. Just need to fill them up. Wonders, does this have a cooler? Oh, man. along still it's getting dark out here there's something about when you're plowing at night I don't know this this to me is almost I always enjoyed plowing at night never like doing the headlands but man once you got them done and you're just plowing back and forth is almost relaxing especially when it's chilly outside and you're a nice warm dust proof cab man this is the life this is what I like to do to relax so we are creating this field and basically this field almost circles our whole entire farm here so we go all the way around got these little itty bitty pieces here so I think I might end up doing these little pieces here Do this little piece get this done slow down a little bit going down hill all right put that down just got these few tiny uh, pieces and then we got our big farmland over there man is it did getting dark Whew. we need to get this field done because it is getting late and we should already have seeds in the ground looks like uh, we just have a few more rounds here uh, what maybe we'll get done before midnight I'm hoping at least uh, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here on the FSN Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.